Hey guys, I'm Leo5. Recently, Sony announced a new APS-C camera, the Sony XT400, which is a new entry-level APS-C camera in the Alpha lineup. This camera, guys, just looks so amazing and can do so many things that we'll cover in a separate video. But today, we're only looking at which are the best lenses, in my opinion, to get for this new compact camera. So let's see what those are, and here we go. So before we begin, if you're new to this channel, I do a lot of camera tech and drone reviews. So if that's something that you like, please consider subscribing. All right, guys, for this list, I want to choose a couple of lenses that number one, are not too expensive, and number two, are compact and lightweight enough to fit the body of this camera. But also, I want to choose lenses that will allow you to shoot video and at the same time take pictures in different scenarios. So number one in my list has to be the Sony 18 to 105 f4. And that's probably the one lens that everyone should have in their camera bag, especially for APS-C shooters. The 18 to 105 is a lens that you can take anywhere and could potentially be the only lens that you would ever need for the Sony x 400 It's a lens that once you mount it in your camera, you can either shoot wide at 18 mm or you can either zoom in in a total photo range at 105. And the good thing is that it has a constant aperture at f4, so it won't mess up your exposure. If you take video, for example, let's say at 85 mm or even at 105, you're also going to get a beautiful shallow depth of field that everyone loves. One thing that is super important because the Sony a 400 doesn't have internal stabilization, this Sony 18 to 105 will definitely help you out when you're shooting even in telephoto range because it has internal stabilization. The reason I don't choose this 18 to 105 lens as the only lens that you would need for that A6400 is because again, it has only an aperture of f4, which won't help you too much in low light situations. And this takes me to the second lens on the list. Number two on my list will have to be the Sony 35 mm f1.8. This lens I use it most of the time for when I'm shooting B-roll and even when I'm taking close-up shots and even taking portraits. This lens is amazing. It gives you a super shallow depth of field at f1.8. It's super light in weight, weigh only five ounces. It's a lens that will fit any camera bag because how small and compact it is, as you can see here. And again, you can use it in any lighting situation due to its wide aperture at f1.8. You can never go wrong with this lens. It's so versatile. It's super easy to travel with and could probably be the only one lens that you will need in your camera bag if you don't need the telephoto range that the 18 to 105 would give you. And number three on the list is a super popular lens among APS-C shooters and can easily be used to vlog with the A6400. And we're talking about the Sigma 60mm f1.4. Now, this one doesn't have internal stabilization, as the other two lenses on my list have. So you have to be extra careful when you're shooting videos because again, the A6400 doesn't have stabilization either. I would suggest that if you're planning on using this lens to vlog, you use a gimbal. The image quality of this Sigma lens, I just can't explain it. It's just fantastic. Even when you're using with a complete wide aperture at f1.4, it still gives you an amazing image quality and sharpness. Again, due to super wide aperture, you can use this lens in any low light situation. Let's say that you're shooting in a concert or you're taking videos indoor, it will always give you an impressive image quality. And again, because a super wide aperture at f1.4, it will give you a super shallow depth of field that nowadays everyone is looking for. The price on this Sigma lens is only $450, and again, you're getting an amazing lens with autofocus capability and a wide aperture. The only downside to this lens, again, is a lack of image stabilization. All right, guys, those are the three lenses that I chose for the new Sony x 400 I know there are other amazing lenses out there, but for the price and versatility, those are the ones that I chose. Thanks for watching, click the like button if you like this video, and please consider subscribing for more camera, tech, and drone videos. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Yeah.